You're watching WTBY News 4, your hometown news leader. Now it's time to take a look at this day in entertainment history when both a new show and a new network made their debut. And that show was the fourth live-action Star Trek series known as Star Trek Voyager, which on this day in 1995 launched on the first day of the United Paramount Network, better known as UPN. The series would star Kate Mulgrew as Captain Catherine Janeway and would launch at a time when another Star Trek series and movie were also in production. In this series, the Star Trek, the starship Voyager, would find themselves thrown halfway across the galaxy to the Delta Quadrants. They would be forced to team up with a group of rebels to survive the 70-year-old journey, the 70-year journey back to Earth. In the fourth season, a new cast member was added, Jerry Ryan, who would play the former Borg 7 on 9. Uh, the series had what fans consider many memorable episodes. It would also last seven seasons, just as The Next Generation and Deep Space Nine did before ending in 2001. The same year that Voyager ended, a new Star Trek series would debut. This series, Enterprise, would be a prequel series that would also air on UPN. All of Voyager has been released on DVD and is available on streaming services like Netflix and Amazon Prime. If they reboot Star Trek Enterprise, they should just do like the people on Star Trek in the city of Enterprise and like what they're doing. <laughs> like, I want to start the evil circle. Hey, it makes sense. I mean, why not? <laughs>